Hi guys, today we are going to discuss about the basic concept of capacitor and we are going to learn what is called as capacitance and several important things which are related to capacitor. First let me tell you these are the tiny things that you are going to see. These are what we called as capacitors. Okay, you can find this in your fan. All the motors are going to have the capacitors. Okay, this is a capacitor. Okay, so let us learn about the basic concepts of capacitor. What is a capacitor? A capacitor is basically a conductor. Okay, let us take this is a, a spherical conductor. Okay, you can take of any shape. A shape doesn't make any difference here. Okay, now I have given some charge to this conductor. Okay, now there is some charge around the conductor. Now can you please tell me how much charge I can give to this conductor? Okay, this is a conductor. This is a conductor. Okay, any metal, any metal. Okay, this is a conductor. And there is some charge. Then there should be some capacity or some maximum limit for this conductor by which we can able to make it charge. By we can give the charge to this. Okay. So let us take, I have given some charge around 800 coulombs has been given to this. Okay. 800 charge coulombs has been given to this. Now, uh, furthermore, I want to increase the charge to 1200 coulombs. I just want to increase it to 2000 coulombs, 20,000 coulombs. Is it possible to give infinite charge to this conductor or there should be a limit? Okay, what do you feel generally? So that means here is a capacitor. That means can we give infinite capacity to this? Infinite charge can be given to this capacitor. Do you feel so? Okay, for example, I have a 10 liters bucket. Okay, the volume of the bucket is 10 liters. Okay, this is a 10 liters bucket. How much water that I can pour into the bucket? How much water I can pour into the bucket? Okay, can you please try? How much amount of water that can be poured into the bucket? In fact, the answer is infinite amount of water can be poured into the bucket. But how much water can be stored in this bucket? The answer is 10 liters. So you can give infinite amount of water into the bucket. But it can withhold only 10 liters of water in the same way you can give infinite amount of charge to this conductor but that conductor can hold only some amount of charge there should be a limit there should be a limit so that limit is what we called as the capacity hope you understand what is called as capacity of the conductor capacity okay what is the capacity here the maximum amount of charge that can be stored in this conductor is what we called as capacity of this conductor okay it is going to vary from uh, one material to another material it is going to change so the ultimate meaning of the capacity is the maximum amount of charge that can be given to this conductor that can stored by this conductor is what we called as the capacity of the conductor okay wire whatever it is Okay, example is the bucket example. You can give infinity, but it can store only the limit. Up to that limit only, it can able to store. For example, okay, try to understand. This is a conductor. Now, why it cannot store infinite amount of energy is the question. Infinite amount of charge, I'm sorry. Why this conductor cannot able to store infinite amount of charge is the question okay now first of all i have given a charge of 800 coulombs okay q is equal to 800 coulombs then obviously it has some electric field okay the let us take the electric field is some 80 newton per coulomb is the electric field magnitude of the electric field now I just want to give some more charge, some more charge, some more charge, then charge is going to increase. If the charge is going to increase, then the electric field strength is going to increase and the electric field is going to move like this. Okay. Now remember here the medium is air. Who is the medium here? Air is the medium here. Try to understand what I am saying. Air is the medium here and we are trying to give as much charge as we can give. Up to certain limit it can bear. 
okay because there is some limit for this conductor up to that we can charge it that is what we called as its capacity so beyond that capacity i am going to give the charge then what will happen sir then try to understand what will happen this is the direction of electric field now the air molecule which is present here act like a dipole okay air molecule the plus minus the dipole thing hope you remember this now this is plus obviously the minus is attracting towards this and plus will be this direction in this direction and you are going to give the charge you are going to give the charge you are going to increase the magnitude of the charge then what will happen the electric field strength is going to be increased and it will reach to a certain limit that the dipole is going to break sir the dipole is going to break and all the negative electrons are going to move in this direction and they are going to neutralize those charge which has been given by you that means up to certain amount of charge it will hold whatever the limit it has been crossed will be neutralized by the dipole breakage sir the dipole is going to break here the dipole is going to break here that is what we call dielectric breakdown that we will discuss later okay that means <coughs> sorry up to certain charge it can hold if you are going to cross beyond the limit then what is going to happen the air molecules are going to behave like electric dipoles and there is going to be breakdown in the dipole and the minus is going to be attract towards it the minus is going to attract towards it okay and it is going to neutralize that's why you can charge the capacitor you can charge the capacitor up to certain limit afterwards you can't able to charge it afterwards you can't able to charge it there is a limit ha huh, you can increase the capacity you can increase the capacity but not up to the infinity is the basic concept that we are going to remember that means what is the capacitor sir simple thing capacitor is used to store the charge capacitor is used to store the charge it can store the charge sir. okay so now we are going to discuss about another basic concept what is that now we are going to discuss about what is called as the capacity okay once again we are going to discuss what is called as the capacity so what is called as capacity sir it is the maximum amount of charge which can be stored by the capacitor capacitor the maximum amount of charge that can be stored in this capacitor is called as its capacity and it depends on medium which is present here sir now we are going to we had discussed about the air okay if any medium which can able to tolerate that dipole what we called as breakdown then that medium is going to be used here we are going to you, sometimes you are going to find oil sometimes we are going to find leakage of the oil from the capacitor that means medium is going to change why the medium is going to be changed the medium is going to be changed to increase the capacity increase the capacity okay okay so now you understand what is this now we are going to discuss about dielectric breakdown what is called as dielectric breakdown di electric breakdown try to understand now this is the capacitor now we have discussed already this is the capacitor this is charge around it and i told you that the air molecules behaves like dipole okay now this is minus and it is plus and at a certain limit what is going to happen sir this is minus and this is plus and this is the capa capa what we say conductor now up to certain limit afterwards it is going to break down like this the minus is going to be used to neutralize the excess charge so this is called whatever the amount of charge that you are going to give to break this is what we called as dipole dielectric breakdown okay now i understand now we understand what is called dielectric breakdown the splitting of the dipole in the presence of electric field is called as dipole breakdown sir dielectric breakdown so what is called dielectric breakdown the splitting of the splitting of dipole in the presence of electric field is what we called as the splitting of dipole in the presence of electric field is what we called dielectric breakdown hope you understand now what is called as dielectric strength very very important dielectric strength what is called dielectric strength try to understand now let us consider 
this is again the charge around the conductor and the maximum strength of the electric field you all know the charge is given then obviously the electric field is going to be generated and the maximum amount of electric field which can be bear by this electric dipole okay this electric dipole will be minus and this is plus and in every time it is not going to attract towards this and every time it is not possible to break down at some certain instance only it is going to be happen and the maximum strength of the electric field the maximum strength of the electric field mane jitna zyada isko de sakte hain electric field taki a toote na it cannot be break that is what we called as dielectric strength is the strength of the electric field which can bear the breakage of this dipole which can bear the breakage of this dipole this is what we called as electric dielectric strength this is called dielectric strength so now we are going to discuss about the basic terminology that we are going to use so what is called as capacitance okay sir try to understand this is our conductor and the charge on the conductor is zero now the charge on the conductor is zero now there are no charge now i am going to give some charge to it sir i am going to give some charge initial charge is zero now i am going to give some charge to it try to understand what i am saying now i am going to give some charge to it okay now its potential is some one v now we can say the capacitance of the conductor is the given charge to raise the capacitance the raise the potential as 1 volt is what we called as capacitance that means it is at zero the charge is zero and the potential is zero now i have given some charge i have given some charge to raise it potential to 1 volt then that is what we called as its capacitance so what is called as capacitance the amount of charge given to a capacitor or conductor whatever it is the amount of charge which is given to a capacitor or conductor to give its potential as 1 volt to give its potential as 1 volt that's why the formula for the capacitance c is equal to q by v units of q are coulombs units of v are volt that's why the units will be coulomb per volt which is what we called as farads okay farads are the units of okay but in general general units will be micro farads for example i can give you example of this this you can clearly observe here this is 4700 micro farads 25 v now how much charge it can be stored can you say by the formula shall we calculate it's so interesting to calculate see what he has given what is the value given by him see what is the value given by him this is 4500 hope you can see it 4500 micro farads is what we called as its capacitance and its voltage is 25 volt now the question is how much amount of charge can be stored in it what is our formula sir q is equal to sorry c is equal to q by v is our formula c what is the value of c 4700 into 10 to the power of minus 6 okay i'm converting that into farads is equal to q by 25 now what is the amount of charge it can be stored 4500 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 25 coulombs is the charge that can be stored in it hope you are understand what i am saying thank you